Hi everyone, Trina here, and this is 6.6, .6. and um, we just got done discussing elements and how the elements um, are expressed in our body and our behaviors and our attributes and our weaknesses, and we were getting ready to get into the seven subtle energy fields or the seven subtle energies of the soul, and um, this is so funny because I was always shown that you're a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll inside of a doll. And this is the energy field. The, the different um, dolls are the different attributes that are held within these different layers of your energetic body. So like when you drop your flesh body, you're still going to be dealing with these emotional bodies. And these emotional bodies, um, if you can rise above them, they will fall, you know, fall away and dissolve and you'll go into the higher dimensions. It's, it's about how are, how attached are you to these different bodies? Um, can you process the energy within them, the programs that have been placed in them? Um, you know, Wayne and I were talking about the body and how the body like cuts you off from source. And this is what I've seen is, is, um, when we're in human form, it's one of the densest bodies that you could be in and it's got the most overlays of, of who you truly are it, it when it, it was like when I saw atom like we're all sitting in a Torah field all of us are, are we, we are atom this is all an energy system everything's running in binary code so with that what I saw was like space is water and and atom was a drop of water that had code, the word code, and it got dropped into the mother's womb of, of pure potential, uh, dark matter, which to me is water, it's space, it's water. And, and then when the drop of Adam hit that water, it, it produced all the codes for everything. And, and it started to manifest and science, you know, says, oh, this is the Big Bang. And it's like, that's kind of what I saw was, was the light came into the water and it, and it boom, and it, it, it like electrically charged everything and sent that light out into code and the code, it was intelligent because water becomes the information that's put into it. That's why it's so important to tell yourself you love yourself tell yourself you're fabulous tell yourself the things that you were so taught not to tell yourself you need to break through all of the bad programs that you truly do believe about yourself and start sending yourself the opposite and until you feel it you have to believe it you have to make yourself believe it because that will set your frequency in your heart so um, I know it's hard, but you really need to do the work on self to tell self that you love yourself and that when you do that, you start to understand that you're more than just your body and there's higher parts of you that you can connect to. If it's hard to love your physical form, love the higher parts of yourself. Do whatever works for you. Connect to your angelic self and love yourself. It's you. It truly is you. So you need to understand when you, we're, we are physical, we are bound by the laws of this physical realm. And this is one of the densest, most cut off, most separated from source realms of existence you could be in. So pat yourself on the back right there that you have any awareness that you are more of this because this is made for you not to become aware that you're more than this. So right there, you are so ahead of the game. So keep going and keep learning and keep merging with all that you are, which is all of your energy bodies, all of the elements, all of nature, all of mother, all of father, and be the sun. Because when you have this awareness, you enlighten your mind. And with that enlightening, you are putting forth powerful information into the waters of our world. So drop love bombs, wisdom bombs, truth bombs, frequency bombs of gratitude, servitude, and love into this matrix because it's all about the water and we are water. We are the living waters 
when we start to understand that what we think about, we bring about because we're sending it through the waters, this is how we can change everything all around us and even within us because water, I think, is the Holy Spirit. And I think this is how we truly do bring heaven to earth is by bringing forth the living waters that have the light codes of original source codes. And I think that's what remembering is, is remembering those original light codes. And Wayne and I were talking about the triple helix DNA and how everything here is sitting within a trinity. So why wouldn't our DNA be sitting in the trinity as well? That makes so much sense to me. And I've seen that, that our DNA was shut down and cut off. And that's, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant concept. And if we can work on the reconnection of that which was organic, and um, if that is this triple helix, um, we can reawaken this and reconnect to this because that's what we do. We can create. That's our gift. And we can change the water that's inside of our bodies. So um, we're just going to keep going and keep learning and manifest and manifest well. And with that, we might be the ones we came here to see make the changes because it is about what we think about. And by knowing that we have potentials inside of our bodies through our water to create and manifest new things upon the earth plane, that truly is bringing heaven on earth. And that truly would be the definition of ascension. So we're, we're on to something big with this. I know it because I've always been shown that we came here to activate the world. And the way that you activate is through water. So bringing the elements through the water to produce alchemy. And alchemy transmutes matter. So I have a feeling this is exactly what we were came we came here to do, to be the change we wish to see. So, seven subtle energy bodies. After the soul descends from the sixth and seventh dimensions, it then acquires additional energy bodies that allow it to become human. The first and the most important is the causal body. This energy body, it will sustain from lifetime to lifetime. The causal body contains all of the soul's past life records, and it is directly linked to your higher self. Then comes the mental, astral, and emotional. Lastly comes the etheric double that overlays the physical body, helping to maintain a person's physical vitality. And this is what I see as your original template that you can you can start to see your etheric double which is your twin this is your body twin and what i see is this is this is literally what's forming your physical body is this template this energetic blueprint and this blueprint it has no illness no sickness it it doesn't age it's literally the image, and that's the template, is that image. And that image is perfect. The image is always perfect. So you can use your own image to repair your physical body through replication of information from your original template code, which is unique to you. So this etheric double is an energetic replica of the physical body, bingo. And it extends about an inch beyond our skin, yep. When we are sick, it becomes gray and contracts. When healthy, it is blue-gray and it's a color that shines with vibrancy. And this is true, I've seen this auric field that surrounds the body and I've also seen it gray and I've also seen it cocked sideways like not sitting straight on the body and other entities were attached to it. So make this auric field of yours, bring your, your, your energetic twin, your, your dual twin,
bring it into you every day and say, replicate within me which is perfect and from the divine. Replicate within me which is perfect and divine. Replicate within me which is perfect and divine. And it is your code, not from anything outside of you. It is from you. So trust yourself. Replicate within me that which is divine, your replica, your divine twin. So while we are in the physical world, each of these subtle energy bodies serve a specific purpose. But when we die, all of these lower bodies gradually dissolve as we reintegrate with our causal and higher self. Why do we need these subtle energy bodies? Well, just as you might need a spacesuit to go walking on the moon, isn't that the truth? I see this human body is literally a sleeve, a spacesuit, so you can experience on this realm because it matches the code. So you have to be brought into the code, and this code is one of matter, and it is one of flesh, and entropy, and death, and polarity. So it's just the codes of this realm. So, so must, too, the soul obtain bodies of greater and greater density to travel into the realms of matter. Yep, the further you go down, the denser you become. Each of these subtle energy bodies is not only connected to one of the seven dimensions, it is also connected to the seven chakras. This is what I know to be true. These subtle energy centers run along the spine. Ancient teachings describe these seven chakras as portals or gates of enlightenment. They are means by which the soul becomes linked to a physical body stepping down the energy of spirit into matter. And I see these coming through the planetary bodies. So each one of these wheels in our physical body is connected to an, a bigger solar body. And that body is so wise and so smart, you couldn't even wrap your brain around it. So these are all your gifts. You have connection to these bodies, and these bodies are bodies of wisdom beyond imagination. And it is your gift. It's natural to your being and your construct. And it's just getting back to what you once knew. But in this body, you just forget. But you have the ability to get back to it because it's so funny. Everything here has to have polarity. So as much as they can dumb you down is as much as you have the ability to reconnect because it has to be to have the polarity in existence. The opposite has to be true. So know that you can go as high as you want and as high as you can imagine. It is a natural, innate gift of your being is to connect to your higher bodies because they're yours. So in addition, each chakra is connected with a certain organ system, absolutely, as well as their corresponding emotions and thoughts. And the, the organs, that's why they're called organs, these are the sound producers in the body. Each one of your organs is producing a beautiful sound. So are the chakra wheels, but the organs are too, and this is making your symphony. So, always ask to have my symphony supported within me. Bring forth the magical music as that which is my own. Help me to resonate and match my song. Because it is. It's your own song. And no other song is like your song. You make your own magical sound. So, and um, in any unhealed wounds from present or past life, these times you may choose to reside in area in, in, in they may reside in any of the various organ systems and i've seen this doing journey work and doing a uh, uh, deep trance work people go into their organs and their organs have stories and trauma and history and sometimes it's from past lives sometimes it's from this life it, it's amazing but the body is a magical map of all of your experiences from not only this life but past lives and also future. So, um, these negative energies 
trapped in one or more of the chakras can eventually make their way from the subtle energy levels into the physical body and manifest as physical, emotional, or creative energy blockages by clearing away these old energy patterns, whether they are a result of trauma, vows, beliefs, binding, or negative emotions like anger or fear. We can restore the body to harmony and mend the traumas of the soul. Thousands of people have undergone this kind of deeper spiritual transformation with therapists like Brian Weiss, Michael Newton, Dolores Cannon, and myself, hypnotherapists trained in these matters. These patients can attest to the power and it ha what power it has to bring forth real and lasting healing. This is what I have seen time and time again. Um, I have been trained in these modalities and what I have seen with this work is nothing short of miraculous. And um, it is absolutely a gift that we as human beings have is to go into our own body and our own being and heal our traumas and wounds. And it, 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 is, it seems to be the fastest path to true healing of these issues. It seems to help them heal. And I, it is magic, and it is never happens the same way for any person. And I think that is just more profound than any of it. It's like this work is so unique, and it never presents itself the same way. And it is as diverse as we are. And our diversity comes through our experiences and our perceptions. I wanted to show you the graph of the seven subtle energy bottles, bodies of the soul and the highest number seven being the diamond body and then below that is the sixth and this is the buddhic or the rainbow body also called the spiritual etheric body the fifth is the causal or the memory body this is the body that travels lifetime through lifetime and as we drop down we go to the fourth and this is the mental or the will body. And this is the free will aspect of our being. And then we get into the third, the astral or the relationship body. This is the body that helps us communicate with all of the realms is the astral. The second, the emotional or self-worth body. This is where we begin to fully adopt and come into polarity. And then the first, the etheric or the life force physical body, etherical. So the etheric twin is what's creating the flesh. So those are the energy bodies that are forming your physical body. And this is the chart that they show. And then we get into the seven chakras or the energy bodies. And this is what they show too. The diamond, spiritual, causal, astral, mental, emotional, and etheric body forces. And how those are represented in the chakras of the body. Yep. So, yeah, this is what I've seen, too, because they showed me how these planets were connected to the chakras and how they directly can influence us, what we think, what we feel, um, all of it. it it's amazing because we are very influenced by these. And I think that's why astrology is so profound, because this is an alchemical situation. And, and, and we're... Things were lined up when you were born and formed into matter. That alchemical recipe is unique to you based upon what you brought in with your etheric code and merged into the physical realm. So um, this is why these things have such an effect on us. And, and they truly are... Um, you can see them being expressed in who we are as human beings. It's because this is alchemy and this alchemical makeup that is you is unique to you. 
And when we start to really understand that we are an alchemical expression, and that alchemical expression, when we can start to really understand how to maintain and cooperate with it, it, it really will support you in your physical journey because um, the energy or the alchemy is first. So um, this is when you can dive into your body and start to heal things that are causing your physical body pain, disease, discomfort, discordant patterns, discordant frequencies within your being. When you can clear these out, they literally, they lift weight off your body. It's like somebody just took a dump truck off your back. And then you can think of these things and, and there's no charge in your physical body any longer. You can look at the loss of somebody that you love and instead of it making your stomach wrench, now it produces a smile on your face because now you feel the love. You don't feel the trauma anymore. It literally changes the charge in your physical body. So these energy bodies are very powerful and um, our subconscious mind is holding so much of us that we are unaware of and within that subconscious mind is how you access the map of all of the information that's being held within your physical body and this is just such a simple natural process of literally going into a walking guided like meditation with a therapist it, it's such natural work and guiding through this process you get to have a, co a communication with yourself and through the higher aspects of yourself you can communicate to anyone or anything because they are still in those energetic realms you're just in the flesh realm so you can't access that realm until you access it through your own energy system that is a match of vibration to the energy system that they are currently residing on and this is not difficult we do this when we dream we do this when we daydream we do this when we get chill bumps when we get truth you hear music that gives you goosebumps this is all these frequencies that are activating an alchemical process within the body that changes the frequency in your mind and allows you to have access to the higher parts of your own self so this is where we need to go trust ourself trust your own energy bodies you have seven of them get to know each and every one start at the bottom and start to work your way up until you connect with all seven and the seventh being the crown and this is when you become enlightened and it is a natural process it is not magic it is alchemical and it is simple science but it is something that has been deeply guarded and hidden from us as a species. Because when you know for yourself, nobody needs to tell you because they can't tell you what you already know. And you feel very indifferent about it any way you look at it because truth, it doesn't defend because it is. And it is indifferent in that because it does not move in what it is because its foundation is truth. And truth is unshakable. And it doesn't matter how you see truth. The truth is always the truth. And there's a million paths on the ladder going to the same truth. But once you reach the top, it's all one truth. And that truth is so big, we cannot comprehend it. We just can't. We don't have the capacity in human flesh. And even traveling in your higher energetic bodies, these concepts are so big. The images that come in you you can't even find words there's just there's no words so right there without the way to express it with words it kind of messes you up right out of the gate so don't even try just know and see and perceive and trust and know that there is a part of you that can perceive these but right now we're just in a very dense state of matter and in this dense state of matter we are trying to reconnect to our more subtle higher frequency bodies and reach more higher subtle frequencies and bring them into earth through us as matching in vibration so this is how we bring heaven to earth and bring it through the water and love the water and thank the water thank the water every day every time you can think about it 
Send gratitude. Gratitude because everything is water. And the more you can love the water, the more you can learn to love yourself and the more you can love the world, and us sending that love into this matrix is the greatest gift we could ever give to humanity. So I love you guys. We'll pick it up with the different bodies. Diamond body, Buddha body, causal body, astral, mental, emotional, and etheric on the next one. So much love to you. Namaste. Have a wonderful day. Manifest like the true magical beings that you are you hold the spark of the divine within you so let it shine and connect that spark to all of you which is seven dimensions dimensions of divinity that that is just it's it's who you are so i love you all we'll see you on the next one have a great day